Hey what's up guys, MGH here and welcome to the first episode of my Gladbach career mode on FIFA 16. We're finally in the Bundesliga and it's finally something new on the channel. The Arsenal career mode and the Portsmouth career mode have been excellent. I've really enjoyed it but it's definitely time for something new, a new challenge and I think Gladbach is going to provide that. I'm really, really excited to get going. Now, unfortunately, I still don't have internet at my new house. It's going to be next Monday. So if I don't get an upload up every single day, I do apologize. I have to drive all the way to my parents to upload it. We're going to get the pre-season tournament finished. We're going to go ahead and try and make some signings and just see how we get on. Also, I apologize for the brightness. I've, st I've still got no blinds installed in the new house. So for now, it's... Yeah, I look even more pale than usual. Let's get into the first episode and uh, let's make some signings and get this pre-season tournament underway. First of all though, guys, we're going to set up training and I think I know already what I'm planning to do. So Dahoud is my young hot prospect in the side. I really want him to grow quickly. So we're going to go ahead and put him on beat your man, hard difficulty. I want him to improve in those stats. I want him to improve in his defending as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get him to do one on two defending on hard again. I think I'm going to get him to do three drills at the moment to start off with. Maybe his passing. I think his passing would be a good one. We'll get him on the El Rondo again. Hard difficulty. I think I think he's going to be the, the player to go with here. Maybe get two drills for Christensen as well just to start off with. So one on two defending hard. Do I want his stamina to be improved? Yes. His dribbling probably could be a bit better. His agility. All right. We're going to go ahead and do that. So... That is what we're going to start off with. The next few weeks, I will just keep doing the same drills. Can we start off well here? We do start off pretty well there. We get two A's. So in terms of making some offers for players, I'm a little bit a little bit confused here. What do I want to do? I've probably got enough money to sign two very, very good players. Maybe Mbolo and a centre-back. Maybe a left-back instead of a centre-back. But I think for me, Mbolo is going to be such a good signing. I used him in FIFA 15 with Wolfsburg. He was incredible. He's from Switzerland. It makes sense for him to come to you know a, a team in the Bundesliga at least. I think I'm going to go ahead and make an offer and see what they uh, they come back with. He is an exciting prospect. I'm not going to go ahead and inquire. I'm not even going to finish scouting him. I know this guy is going to be great. The question is, do I offer a player? I think that's probably the best thing to do here. I'm going to try and get rid of one of these defenders. I think Stranzel, obviously he's worth a bit more, 2.4 million. And I'm going to throw in, should I try 6 million plus Stranzel? It's probably nowhere near enough, but maybe they will reply and give us a number and we can work towards it and do a bit more negotiation. We've got two great defenders, Bailey and Mustafi. That was suggested a lot in the comments. Mustafi from Valencia could be a very good choice. There's Jota here. Diogo Hota, Jota, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He is also an exciting prospect and he can play at striker, I believe. Let's go ahead and double check that. He can. Look at those work rates as well. I think he could be a very nice signing. Probably someone I could do a swap with, like a straight swap. I think I might try Han. Let's try like a straight swap. Although he's worth quite a lot of money. See, this is, this is difficult. No, I'm going to try Han. Let's do a straight swap. Surely that's a fair deal. Now, I haven't used Bailey in FIFA 16. He is one of those players that since the beginning uh, of the season in real life, he's just done so well and he's impressed EA enough to improve his potential week after week. He's now one of the best young defenders in the game. And the only thing I don't like about him is his work rates. But if I set his instructions to stay back while attacking, it, it should be OK. I'm hoping he's going to be like my Naldo. At Wolfsburg, you know, a slightly more attacking defender. He can play on the right and left as well. I think he would be a very good signing. And I've got so, so many defenders at this club. I can probably, you know, do with getting rid of one. Now, this player here, Tony Janschka, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I do apologize. I don't like him. He's too short. So I think I'm going to offer him in this deal. Maybe Villarreal would be interested. And I'll throw in two million just to sweeten the deal. Because I think Bailey's going to be worth quite a lot. So let's see what happens there. Mustafi would be my backup option, but he's just so expensive. Okay, so here we go, guys. We have three emails back. Unfortunately, Basel and Villarreal have declined the deal. Although Basel would be willing to do the deal if we increase the money to 13.2. But it looks like Pacos Ferreira have accepted the deal here for Jota. Hota, I'm going to have to work out how you say his name. I'm going to go ahead and do this deal. I'm going to offer him 25000 I'm going to get him on a five-year contract just because why not? 
And I'm going to try and get him on squad rotation player because at first I will train him. I'll play him in the odd game until he's a bit a bit higher rated. But I'm definitely excited to try him out. So he will be probably our first signing at this rate. Basel want 13.2 million plus. Who is it? Stranzel. Okay, so I'm going to bump this up to 10 million. Let's see if they accept that. That would be a pretty good deal for me. Maybe not so much for them. Villarreal are not interested at all in Janschka. Janschka. I, I really, really don't like some of these names. Um, I will try Brewers instead. He's rubbish. And we'll go ahead and increase this to, what, 12 million? Something like that. Because I think Bailey's around 16 to 20 million pounds if you just make an offer. So there we go. Let's see what happens next. Time to start off the pre-season tournament. Our first game is up against Sevilla. Now, they're a good side. Let's see if we can get a win to kick things off. We are playing at home. And 40 minutes in, oh, we've got an injury. But he hasn't gone off. That's a good sign. And into the second half, there's still no goals at the moment. Let's just skip it. We get a one-all draw. Herman and Tremonili Alas gets the goal there late on. So we were going to win it until the 81st minute. We'll take a draw. It's not too bad. And it is the worst possible start for Christensen. A four-month injury. You've got to be kidding me. I need to get Bailey now. I need to sign a defender. I just can't believe that's happened. And that, of course, means I need to replace him in training. And I'm going to go ahead and put Hazard in instead. Yes, this is Eden Hazard's brother, Thorgan. We're going to go and get him on improving his shooting. I think that's probably best. And his passing. So let's go ahead and start some training. Come on, give me something good here. Okay, Dahoud's done okay there. He's gone up in his interceptions. And there we have it, guys. Some really good news. Jota has accepted the deal. We're going to go ahead and sign him up. That is... I I'm actually really happy with that. We've actually made money. And it's a player that I wasn't going to use that's left. So it makes sense. And I'm really, really happy with that. We've got good a good uh, bit of good news back here from Basel. They have accepted the deal. I'm quite surprised they've accepted that. We're losing an old defender that's going to go downhill very soon. And we're signing one of the best strikers in the game. One of the best young strikers. Five years and we'll get him on important first team player. Maybe not crucial to start off with. Now moving on into the next game in the preseason tournament. We have San Lorenzo. We should get a win here surely. Oh wow. Another draw. So we've had two draws in our first two games of the season. Not the best start. Oh man. Villarreal are proving very difficult to negotiate with. They do not want any defender. I don't think I've got any midfielders or strikers that I want to offer right now. I could maybe try a goalkeeper as my final offer with a player. We'll, we'll give this one more go with a goalkeeper. We'll improve our offer to 14 million. And hopefully they fancy a new goalkeeper. Yes, great news. Mbolo has accepted his contract. Welcome to the team. We've still got 22 million left, left. So we can afford Bailey. We can do it. And that that is a huge signing. That really is. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. So they are happy to do this deal if I improve the money. I think this is a deal that I want to I want to make happen, but I don't really want to spend all my money. So I'm gonna improve it to 18 million. That leaves me with four. And I should be able to adjust my wages. I want a couple of million, le million left over, put it that way. So hopefully they're feeling good right now. And they really want the deal to go through just as much as me. Uh, but right now, guys, we're going up against Roma. And we have to win. We need to beat Roma in this next game. We're going to simulate it. Obviously, it doesn't really matter if we don't go through. We don't need the money right now. But... I reckon we can do it. We're at home. It is a home advantage. And we get another draw. Three draws in the preseason tournament. And Herman Mbolo scored on his debut. That's good to see. But it does mean we have been knocked out of the tournament. That absolutely sucks. I cannot believe it. But we won 2 million euros. That's not too bad. Time for some more training now. I do think the hood will grow now. Oh, wow. Look at that. How has his overall not gone up from all of that? I don't know. But guys, he's getting close to 73 already. Oh, my God. Villarreal have accepted it. That is such a bad deal for them. 18 million plus a crap goalkeeper for one of their best players. That is hilarious. I'm not going to complain though, guys. Again, five-year contract. It might be a bit unnecessary, but whatever. And he will be a crucial first-team player. He goes straight into the squad. Please sign this contract, please. Oh, man, that is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. We've made it, guys. We've signed him. Bailey is now our new defender. And look at that, we've still got loads of money left. And just before the end of the episode, guys, I want to show you my objectives. So in the league, they want me to qualify for the Champions Cup. I'm aiming for third. I think third should be more than achievable. I think Bayern and Dortmund will finish in the top two. 
obviously, and then I will come in third or fourth. That's my objective. That's my own objective. Obviously, they want me to do similar. Now, in the domestic cup, they want me to reach the round of 16. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And in the European Cup, the Champions League, they want me to reach the knockout stage. So basically, they want me to get top two in my Champions League group. And we are in Group H. We have Arsenal, Ghent and Lazio. So it's a mixed group. I think Arsenal are probably favourites. And then it's Gladbach and Lazio too. I would say similar um, ability, I would say, between them. And then obviously Ghent, probably the, uh, the least favourites to progress in this group. But I think we can come second or first in this group. It will be tough, especially the games against Arsenal and Lazio. But that's part of this career mode. It's meant to be a bit more of a challenge, although the Portsmouth career mode was a challenge at the start. Obviously, getting into the Premier League was difficult, but this is a completely different type of career mode. It's all about competing with the best in the Bundesliga and, you know, trying to catch up with Bayern and Dortmund is going to be such a task, but I cannot wait to get going. But guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will make a start to the campaign in the Bundesliga. We'll, we'll play our first match, which I believe is Dortmund away from home. So what a way to start the season. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are going to enjoy this series, please leave your support below. Leave a comment. Please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and never miss an episode. I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.